The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Safina Insecticide, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Bernard Tobin here on the Soybean School, joined again by Dale Cowan from Agris Cooperative. How's it going? Hey, we're going great. We had a rain. We had a rain. An inch and a half here at Melbourne. Um, the weekend went across the province. People always talk about, hey, August rains make soybeans. It's Absolutely. so important. Yeah. Let's talk about why. It, how do we, let's get to the root of the discussion, shall oh, we say. Good, good, good uh, segue in, Bernard. Yeah, so soybeans make their yield the last half of the season, really when no one's looking. So we're, we're, getting, we're getting a little better at looking now and understanding the soybean plant. So we're not letting it alone by itself in the field. So when you think about root structure in a soybean, you know, almost 80% of the root, 90% of the root mass is still in the top three inches of soil. Yeah. So as much as that tap root may go down a foot or more in the soil, it's really these laterals that are providing all the nutrients and water to finish all these pods on here to, to give us our yield. So when it's dry in August, this plant really suffers because there's just no root massing yeah. developing. There's no moisture to carry nutrients to the roots. So when you get a rain in August and these roots, and we're in about a, a full R5 heading into R6 on pot, and we're filling the beans now. So big demand for water, big demand for nutrients, especially phosphorus. And uh, that's what uh, allows us to take those nutrients up. Now you say 80% of the root mask in that three inches. Um, how does that compare to corn, for example? Well, corn still surprisingly has a, a big root mass even in the surface. That's where all the oxygen is. That's where the efficient feeding is, is in the top six inches. Corn roots will be a little more expansive and go a little deeper, maybe even down to four feet. But most of the active nutrient uptake is still going to be in the top six inches. So corn, a little more uh, aggressive root system, a little deeper. And uh, it's form beginning it's forming its yield a little earlier in the season, but still corn at this time you still needs rain to fill grain. Yeah. So if we can keep that top three inches, that top four inches moist through the fall, we've got a shot at some decent yields. We, we certainly do. Now that's all going to depend on ah. how many main stem nodes you got and how many beans on a node. So most bean nodes here have anywhere between uh, two to five pods. So we got a lot of flowers, even though this plant looks pretty good, we got a lot of flowers on nodes here that didn't make pods. Yeah. So we can almost read a soybean plant like a barometer. What was the weather when this node came out? It was pretty good because we got five pods. This node up here, we got three. This one, we have two. So it goes on like that. So when the resources at the time the nodes form is determining how many of those flowers actually stay and make a pod. Well, we're going to find out, sir. So, thank you for stopping by. Always great to have you on Soybean School. Always good to be here. Thank you.